After yesterday's video, we're on the way home. I'm going to call it a debacle. Oh, uh, yesterday's debacle. Obviously, managed to work out how to actually use this for camera. And, um, <laughs> well, I haven't got that far. It's moved, on. We moved on to the next town, which is devices for anyone who wants Devise, to. Devisers or devices? Devises, I always say. These were some really cool um, Dr. Martin Chelsea boots, but they had a pointed toe. If I wasn't um, as savvy as I am, they look a bit. Knock off? They look a bit on the wrong side of happy. Yeah, they were they weren't, but I know what you but mean. But they weren't. No. But, but they, I, I haven't seen many like that in that style. Obviously they weren't very popular. They were thirty pounds. They had reduced them from um a higher price, so you know, maybe that was a bargain. Not for us in a small lady's size, but these are a pair of I can't I guess football boots or some kind of sport oh, boots. Well, thank you for that information. But they were fifty five pounds and as much as I know very little about sports boots or football boots in particular. They probably retail for 60. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> but I say I'm pretty sure. I'm not at all. That's a lie. Um, they were like something like Burton's or something, but they were really nice leather. Oh, thank you for that as well. No problem. Wow, you're in the informational mood, Well, aren't speaking you? of information, here's a pair for you. These are Lokes. Oh, my God. What? What are you laughing at? Because you're obsessed with Lokes. No, I'm not obsessed with Lokes, but they, they are everywhere and they are, well, if they're good money. The reason I was, I was actually quite interested in these, they were like size, I think I want to say 12 or 13. Oh yeah, they were big size, and you were trying to convince me that uh, that because they were a big size, we should purchase them for an inflated price. Do you know what? I don't know what they are. We're going to put comps up here. I, I, we'll see who's right or who's wrong. Size thirteen, they were, weren't they? We'll see who's right or who's wrong compared to like a size eight or nine, shall All we? All right, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll do see. that. Yeah. We'll do that small yeah. thing, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, enough of the uh, I found false a happy aggression. Mug. Did you see my happy mug? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I was looking at shoes. My bad, because we are the luxury pickers, and you're looking at a happy mug. Who was yeah, happy? I'm. I'm not doing my job, but you are. All right. I guarantee that everyone is more interested in the happy mug. Do you know the sad thing is? I totally agree with you. Men shirts. I like men's shirts. Austin normally avoids them, which is funny because... I'm flicking through them. He's a man. But on this occasion, he is doing his due diligence and his job, in and fact. And this actually will pertain, what you're seeing right now, to what you said on an Instagram yesterday, I think, or the day before, about high rails. Like, I'm not small. I'm not, I'm not tall. This, like, is quite high. You are under six foot, aren't you? Oh, why are you going to go there? <laughs> like, I, I'm that person who... I am six foot. Officially six foot, but Bethany always says I'm not six foot. This and it's is mean. this shirt is completely worthless. However, we wanted to show you it. Look at Bethany's reaction. You, th th that'll say it all. It is a linen shirt from a brand called Sasha, from which what I've I never heard see. of. Um, it absolutely means nothing. Oh no, my reaction isn't on screen. Uh, why anyway, would it be? <laughs> so Austin looks at this care label with a shirt, and this shirt is made in Paxos. And or designed um, in Paxos, made in India. I think our favorite place in the or world China. is Paxos. We got engaged in Paxos. Yeah. We will get married in Paxos when we eventually decide. Side, that we want to commit our whole lives to each other. And you, <laughs> have you not decided that yet? No, I haven't not cool. decided. Cool, let me know. <laughs> let you know. But it is, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, you have to fly to Corfu and then you get a hovercraft. I've not got a picture here, a beautiful yeah, like okay. anti-packs or something. You have to get a hovercrafty boat. They're not actually hovercrafts, but they blow up, you know, the bottoms blow up. Um, boat um, across the Ionian Sea, takes about an hour and you land on Paxos and you can walk from one end of the island to the other. It has a handful of hotels and it is gorgeous. Quickly, anyway, talk about the ship. This this shirt is from a brand called Purdy. It's a shooting brand or a country... Outdoor... Uh, what is it? What's it? Um, activities. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it is has become more high-end over the years. And although you can buy, like, like actual, like, um, gun stuff from them and, you know, things like that. They also do kind of wear. They do high-end country wear. Like jackets, coats, shirts, etc, etc. Jodhpur's tweed corduroy. Actually, we did some of their Jodhpur's in, in like tweed, I want to yes. say. Yes. So this is a shirt from the brand. This is current season and it retails for £175. In that madness. However, their plain shirts go up to 350 depending on how fancy it is. And I, I honestly, like most people will go past that shirt being like, oh, it's an old, it's an old boring shirt. What that was this? That is a Lego movie display from a shop and it had all the minifigures in it. Now, now on the side they had it they had it as rare 120 pounds i think it's a little bit more than rare i think it is like you can't buy it uh, that I, I, makes it I, I don't really know, rare i don't know a lot about lego like a small person has a lot of lego but I, that's my knowledge of lego display, like, piece. display piece and stuff i just couldn't tell you price wise yeah so they are 120 if you know anything about lego or display pieces in lego because i'm pretty sure if i if I, we took it apart and just sold the minifigures you wouldn't get your 120 you you maybe you're, you would yeah maybe no, you no would, i, I take your point it's the display box you're painting for i love the wet paint thing you, you have an and issue there's a handprint look 
And the best thing, as I said to Bethany, as we went through, you could have just, t- just touched the glass. It's not a problem. I'm really enjoying Oxfam clothes sections. Don't shoot the messenger. I love Oxfam clothes sections. I think they're quite rare, though. Like, a lot of Oxfam shops around by us just do kind of uh, media or homeware or, like, I you know what I mean? I think that's why they get such good donations, because I think they're, like, like people that go for books. Like yeah, books. fair enough. Anyway, they had this glass and jug set. And once again, my confidence in homewares didn't prevail. And it is, they are glass, and the... They're freaking cool, the though. The fruit is, like, um, the, what's the opposite of embossed? It is... Uh, like uh, in- <laughs> I know what you mean. Raised like uh, yeah, raised. I, oh, you're killing me. I think of it. Outverted. No, no. Anyway, um, and they were really nice, and I think they would have gone really well on Etsy. Sort of like a mid-century modern jug and pitcher set. I don't, I don't know. I think it'd be nice. A pitcher and a jug are the same thing. I know. Another great tip there from Austin is always check the back of jewelry. Why um, for those imprinted Christian Dior and YSL and Givenchy and Chanel. Chanel. Yeah. Um, always keep a lookout for uh, clip-on earrings because they made a lot of them. Uh, Ma- majority of those today. brands actually ne- they didn't actually make uh, earrings which were for pierced ears for a long time. No, a hundred percent. Side note, because it wasn't like the vogue in fashion. Notice how Austin comes into the women's section, does the sections that he wants to do, and then goes away. Leaves me with the 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 fifty the graft t-shirts and the the skirts where you can never find the label in. Them. <laughs> That's genuinely funny because I know the exact skirt you mean. And you're the best bit is you think to yourself, "Well, this could look like a decent one." I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig a little bit further into the skirt to find the label. You find the label, and it's Saint freaking Michaels. No, no, Once again, it gets even worse. You find the label and then it bloody pops off the hanger. Oh, the hanger. <laughs> You know or it. falls off the floor, in my case. Uh, I think this is a good interval why Austin's looking at the shirts to, to talk about, um, just very quickly, um, Lola and Chaddy Pete from the Chaddy Pete YouTube channel uh, have organised the Reseller Summit in March 25th, 2023. So that's in a couple of months' time. Um, Literally a couple of months' time. It is um, a, what would you call it? It's like a convention. There's going to be speakers. There's going to be a panel. There's going to be mingling. I think they've like announced some of the speakers Speakers and they're all like really good, like George Ross and and uh, ABL, ABL, ABL and Sarah resells from Instagram and Pound Girl reseller, Pound Girl reseller. So honestly, I think it looks they're, they're, so they're, they're, good. They're kind of advertising more and more people as it goes along as well. You can get tickets from January twenty fifth. This is not a paid promotion. I just think it's a really cool thing. Listen, community is community, guys. Simple as that. It's cool. It's cool. Let's support. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Um and um yeah, there's more speakers to be announced, but I just oh. <laughs> sorry, I just I emptied the I price and left it. I think it's going to be rad to go over to. Lola's Instagram or you can just search Reseller Summit 2023 on Facebook for all the details um, I won't go on about it but honestly I think it looks right I think it's cool I think mean, that's really cool, and, and we'll we be there. We should all support each other, and like you know, it just be it will just be fun. Did you just say we will be there for sure? Well, oh, we're I not going to go. Well, I haven't decided my schedule there, Austin. I might be well, okay. Well, I'm gonna I might you be painting I, my nails. You day. might be. I'm there. How about that, Austin? Half, I would actually, I would actually prefer to be on my own driving without you. How about okay, that? Half yeah? of the luxury pickers. Will be there. <laughs> um, oh, the, please come. Just the picker bit. <laughs> please come. You're the picker. Bit. I'm definitely the luxury. Or am you I? can be the. I'm a more a picker than a luxury. No, you can just be the... the I know, oh, that's mean. I don't even get one of the words, the main words. Anyway, back, uh, to, back, back to... Back to... Back uh, to... Yeah, this. Austin found a vintage puffer hat. Right, guys. Did you know... No, I want to explain this first. Yeah, do Did it. Did you know the spelling P-U-F-F-A is trademarked by puffer? Yeah, it's a brand. So when you put puffer in your titles, you've got to put E off, my friends. You've puffer, got to put P, not puffer. Puffer. Puffer is a brand. They, they made a lot of... <laughs> Like, you're so uninterested at this point. You're like, yeah, well, why am I talking to you? <laughs> like, yeah, bothered. Just... And do you know what, right? I'm once again, I'll find comps for this hat if I can. This is vintage perfect. It's lined, um, it's quilted inside. And it's very, 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 the style is very kind of, what do you call it? Um, Skull cappy, isn't it? Yeah, which is very in at the moment. It's, like, it's not a beanie. It's like it's like a, what I'd call it, a short beanie. Like, oh yeah, because this is interesting, yeah? Yes, yeah, a vintage, Come on, hit me with it. What's vintage that? Vintage glass lampshade, but it had sort of a geometric... Right, we're going to leave that by there for a minute. <laughs> geometric Asian... Um, look, look what happens. ...pattern. I go and put it back, at least in the hat section. But, yeah, I, I wasn't leaving it there. I was putting it there to talk to you, and all of a sudden... You were like, putting the, the it there cards. to talk to me. Yes, I was. Oh, guilty How until rude. charged. No, you are so bad. <laughs> I'm bad. Terrible. Talk about deflection. Deflection. Anyway... <laughs> the next two shops um on this route um i'm gonna tell you now they're both closed and it's really depressing um <laughs> it is though there's one on the 
I'm sad here, now. which is really good. And they normally have a lot of good shoes. And then this one, we spotted some for Casey Burberry that they had displayed in a romantic manner. This, this was the, there. there like, is, uh, the other thing is, like, that is a big wear clothes sign, like the size of my face. And I still tried the door. Yeah, because there was a peop- there was person lingering. There was, wasn't there? The lights were all on, and it just looked a bit. I seized mm. the opportunity to try the door. Did you? did you try the door? Did I, I try did the, full oh, on try the door, try yeah. The door, yeah, anyway. big time. Um, if you walk up this main street and devices, because we're going to try and give a bit more geography in case you want to visit the town. It's actually a really solid town as well as regards picking, usually. Yeah, and there's usually. quite a few. There's one, two, three on this street, and then there's two on the back things. I am going to pre-warn you, our GoPro does die because we went to two different towns on this day. However, I did include some um, fantastically shot phone footage to show you some highlights of what we picked up. So feel free to enjoy that. We had a lovely woman comment um that uh, a woman the, the woman comment that the last two, she's a new viewer into the few two videos that she watched one we got thrown out of a chai shop and one the footage was on fast forward <laughs> so she's really gonna enjoy this one luxury because, pickers uh, those guys they're absolute mutants what are you talking about because the footage she's gonna uh, finish uh cut out in a minute that was a vintage uh pierre balmain bag it was 100 percent authentic it looks like uh well just looks doesn't look very good it wasn't very good in the 80s slash 90s where they made that kind of thing it was cheap 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 stuff mass produced uh, Mass produced, made in China, and just just not great. They do go for about 20, 25 pounds. You can pick that for like twenty quid, but honestly, we've sold about four or five of those, and we've also sold the. Um, they do, they do a matching. They match it. What? I think we got two of the buckets. Yeah, we, they they do bucket ones as well, which I think we still have one or two of. They go okay, but to be really honest, like it's just not something you really want to think about picking up. But by the same token, I'm just letting you know they're not fake. They're just bad old. and old. They're just vintage and old. Um, you do find a Michael Kors, and it is cashmere blend. It is a big size. It's, a it's br- full label Michael Kors as well. Yeah, this is main label Michael Kors. If anyone gets confused about their Michael Kors labels, then just hit us up because we'll let you know. Um, because they're all multiple different uh, variations of the label. Michael by Michael Kors is the sister brand. This is just Michael Kors, which is mainline. And people get confused because the Michael by Michael Kors, and especially the handbags, can be a lot cheaper than the full line Michael Kors. Yeah. Michael Kors, the full line, is quite expensive and that, that's that, to be honest I think Michael Kors from a luxury standpoint you're taking your time to read that label sir yeah I'm getting old <laughs> my eyes are going I don't have to tell you no I was going to say um, do people do get um, kind of it's a classic brand for me, Michael Kors, to prove the fact that when a label becomes or a brand becomes popular, because most of the people kind of buy um, the uh, the diffusion lines and that yeah. becomes more popular, it really does dilute the full brand because yes. the full brand is a solid brand. It, it's, a, it's a good, uh, fashionable company. And I think some of those kind of diffusion lines really kill them off. Yeah, Michael Kors did... It killed itself a little bit by doing that. It, yeah. Uh, he pushed more money into the diffusion than in the main line. And I think it's obvious. However, if you want to know something really interesting... Hit me with a dog. Michael Kors owns Jimmy Choo. What, what? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he bought it while you were working there. I know. Yeah. I remember getting the uh, memo. The memo, yeah. Like, and we, literally, was, we legit got memos. Everyone like, was in shock. They thought they were going to like make the Jimmy Choo's And everyone was like, oh, they're going to come cheap. And it's like, no, you are clearly know nothing about Michael Kors as a brand. But they just you know? acquired it. But there you go, anyway. Anyway, sorry, back to the thing. Michael Horse jumpers do quite well. Um, I would I would probably have listed that one for about 70, I think. That would yeah, be that's quite a solid price. Yep. Yeah. Um, only because they, once again, I go back to the fact that they, they dilute to their own market a little bit. So that although jump that up, retail would be about 300 I was just going to say that would have cost about 3 three fifty retail. And that wasn't even full cashmere. So just to give you an idea how much that stuff costs retail, the full line, um, whereas you could probably buy a jumper in TK Maxx from Michael Kors we'll for about £50, pound, you know? We'll put comps in. In you've probably already seen them, but I will put them in regardless. And you can just see the difference between retail and resale. Um, and maybe we'll throw some tag pictures in as well. Why not? Yeah, I think it's interesting. And once again, it, like we're trying to give as much as we can knowledge wise. Um, so I just think that's helpful because once again, they are very different in pricing, whether what, what as regards what you'd sell it for and what you would pay in a charity shop. Also, this is a new shop on the street, and guess what it is? Terrible. It's an RSPCA. Oh, <laughs> it's an RSPCA, and they called it a boutique thrift shop. It was actually called a boutique thrift shop. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and do you know what? what it, honestly, because it's because it's an RSPCA, it wasn't very good. I I don't I mean you know. right. This is anyway, the camera footage. So this was a uh, helmet lang dress, a very nice sheer shift dress. That's really nice. A uh, curved hem, yeah. very nice. Twelve pound fifty would expect one hundred and twenty back for that one. I also found an Emma Bridgewater mug, but I haven't seen this one before. It's Horatio's Garden in collaboration with I believe it's the National Trust um, property. Um, they are still for sale for twenty pounds, so I didn't pick it up for six pound fifty. This so is 
some a, of the rarer mugs can go for a lot of money. Big money, yeah. Filofax. This is a vintage Filofax. We always say pick up Filofaxes, especially if they just need a good wipe or a clean, um, and they go for about £30 each. And I found these coat shoes, fully studded, uh, pointed toe, really cute, great size. I think they're a size 8.5, which is 5.5 in American, £10. And the Sorel ski boots for a tenner. Oh my God, size they 7. They were really nice condition too. Just need a quick Look wipe over and a quick polish, and they're really, really nice. Oh, we'll put good size up too. for these. This is a great brand to pick up, especially at the boot sales. The coach, um, just quickly, what, what kind of price would they have been retail? Retail. 150, for 200? Shoes, a bit more than that. Yeah, about 200. For I, flats, I, for I flats. I sell them for about 110. There's another great find we had here in the uh, Red Cross, I think this was. British Red Cross. I love this British Red Cross. Uh, this is Diane from Versberg, medium large, but it's ginormous. It's an Angora cashmere blend for £7. And then I borrowed behind it. I picked up a toast size 18. 18. Well played. Cotton knit. It's sort of a Lagen look asymmetric. And that was £6. Um, and then I decided to go, I had to go through the rest of the rail for those bargains. And I absolutely found nothing. And no, I did not pick that top up. <laughs> I did not cause the damage. And therefore, I could not. Cracking footage, damage. by the way. Thank you. I, yeah. I've tried my best. I was trying to be... Well, I mean, you know... Uh. You know, that top <laughs> did fall off and I did pick it up. I swear I picked oh, it up. See, you mugged me off so hard for I all that swear. stuff. So this is, this is basically us showing the stuff we found. I think there's one one more thing that I picked up whilst obviously wasn't on camera, which Bethany um, wouldn't have I filmed. Would, I put that up it's for... here now. I put that up for 150 that knit from Diamond Versaberg. And what we I put that up for 60. So and six this... 60. And this is a Peruvian uh, connection. I always say collection. £8.50. Um, size medium it's, it's obviously alpaca such wall. a heavy knit however these retail the cable knits retail for upwards of 250 upwards um, so resale what, are we gonna, what was that I'm for I'm going to for 120 and see like that's good oh for no I'd put it for 80 I hope not Oh, I might adjust that. We might have to check that out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was better than last time. See you it soon. It wasn't much better. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>